With it, the field of robotics and IoT have also been moving toward its future. With robots that can not only do menial tasks, but now it can also speak, interact, and automate almost all of our jobs. Thus, the idea of robots, which was quite incomprehensible in the earlier times, is now possible. But what are these robots? How are they able to communicate? Who is building them and how are they designed to do so? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. As the concept of artificial intelligence advances each day, the products built with the help of this technology have also been making quite the headlines. These mechanical shenanigans have been created with the idea of human-machine interaction and to provide help to us humans in order to execute repetitive and menial tasks. These humanoid robots can thus one day be more useful than we human beings and can provide a lot more than what the humans can do in the field of hospitality, logistics and healthcare. When it comes to designing and developing the world's most advanced robots, Japan is the first country that comes to our mind. Japan has never failed to amuse its audience with any kind of product they have come up with. They have the most creative minds in the world and their technical products are so awesome that the country has literally been called a technological hub. Recently, the news about their latest fully functioning female robots have taken over the internet and people are losing their minds over it. Let's talk about these new female humanoid robots now. Ever heard of a robot that can paint? Wait, wait, let's put it this way. Ever heard of a robot that can paint better than us humans? Yes, we have a robot that goes by the name of Ida that is capable of doing so. Ida isn't just a robot and she isn't just an artist. She's what her creators call the first ultra-realistic humanoid artist and her talent is undeniable. We haven't spent eye-watering amounts of time and money to make a very clever painter said Ida's creator, Ida Meller. This project is an ethical project. Introduced in 2019, Ida is a poet, a painter, and a sculptor. In addition to robotic arms, she also has an incredibly realistic face, complete with blinking eyes that can scan the room. Ida is the world's first ultra-realistic artist robot. She draws using cameras in her eyes. Her AI algorithms and her robotic arm, created in February 2019, she had her first solo show at the University of Oxford, Unsecured Features, where her art encouraged viewers to think about our rapidly changing world. She has since traveled and exhibited work internationally, and she had her first show in a major museum, the Design Museum, in 2021. She continues to create art that challenges our notions of creativity in a post-humanist era. While she's incapable, so far, of creating completely original works of art, her five-hour process from beginning to end ensures no two paintings are exactly the same. Moving on, we have an Indian robot made and developed by an Indian computer science teacher of Kendriya Vidyale. This robot goes by the name of Shalu. This is considered to be the second female humanoid robot that has been made by India. The name of the developer is Dinesh Patel, who comes from a village area named Rajmalpur, Uttar Pradesh. This robot is designed to be able to speak more than 47 languages, which includes 9 Indian languages and 38 foreign languages. This robot is made completely from waste materials like plastic, wood, cardboard, aluminium parts, etc. It is the first social and educational Indian robot made that is capable of answering in any language through its trained dataset with the help of artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. It is capable of identifying people with face recognition technology as well as remembering these people after meeting them with inbuilt object recognition technology. It can help Shalu to identify different objects around its environment. The robot's hands are made flexible and are agile enough to make these hands move around in order to show human gestures and behaviors such as handshakes, making fun, showing happiness, sadness, irritation, and other human moods and emotions. Another fun fact about the robot is that Shalu is capable of predicting the daily horoscope on the basis of date of birth and can also address popular locations and will also give reviews on certain movies and gadgets. It can provide answers to educational questions of subjects like physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, geography, and many other subjects too. The robot is so well developed that the functionalities of this robot is mentioned in the computer science syllabus for the class 6 Kendriya Vidyale Sangatan school. The robot is dedicated to girls and women towards the Beti Bachao Beti Parhao movement. The developer seems to have taken inspiration from India's dream mission of Atmanirbhar Bharat. The effort of the developer to make a robot from waste materials seems to be successful and his work speaks for itself. Like, literally. Now moving on to the next one, we have Erica. Ever thought of a news anchor being a robot? Have the thought of getting the latest updates about the world from a robotic news anchor? Well, to your surprise, this has actually become true. 
Erika, a human-like robot created by Hiroshi Ishiguro from the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, is one of the most intelligent humanoid robots developed in Japan once again. It is developed in such a way that she can easily interact with human beings and make changes to her facial expressions according to the conversation being made. Even though she cannot walk, the robot can possibly make human-like conversations because of the 15 inbuilt infrared sensors in her eyes that can track any movement whatsoever. She also has inbuilt face recognition technology and speech generating algorithms built in to track different faces in a room and also allow her to make various facial expressions accordingly. Currently, Erica has been working as a news anchor. Imagine watching early morning news and the presenter is a robot, with special emphasis being given on her verbal capabilities while being developed. It seems Japan has done a great job. Erica would cost more than $200,000 if she were for sale. The developer thinks that the robot might have a real soul, but this seems quite debatable and also incomprehensible. Japan is doing extremely well in this field, and their works are being appreciated and used all over the world. Next up, we have robots, once again from Japan. Their study on autonomous robots and robotic services have made them come up with a solution about interacting with artificially intelligent AI-powered service machines. This includes promotional women, and along with them, a 165 centimeter tall humanoid robot, Actroid, which introduces the French Azaro perfumes at a Christmas gift promotion event at the Takashimaya department store in Tokyo. This Actroid is produced by the Japanese robot venture, Kokoro, which was then hired by the Japanese fragrance importer, Wakaba, for the sales campaign through the Christmas day. The study also included an interaction with another female human-like robot, which goes by the name of Sarah. The participants who were shown with a female robot gave more satisfying and positive rates. A featureless male machine scored the lowest, while a female, human-like robot scored the highest. The participants have reported that they disliked a completely automated service from robots. Further research regarding gender-based hospitality and customer perception will be conducted for more concrete information. Very little information is made public about this event. All in all, newer robots keep coming day after day, and with it, the advancement in this field becomes quite evident. But the fear of robots automating and overtaking every human task still remains. With that comes another concern, that will humans ever be able to produce such technologically advanced machines? And if such mecha humans are ever made, can there be a possibility of these robots being so intelligent that they can overtake human conscience? Technologies like Super AI can make things like these possible. However, very little research has been done in this field. Do you think robots will one day take over every human task? Will robots make people lose their jobs? Can there be robots versus humans in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this while we keep working on making more such videos. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya.